It is difficult to say what a second term Jacinda Ardern government is going to look like because the campaign leading up to this election was not fought so much on policy but more on what was an extremely competent handling of the coronavirus pandemic which has been held up around the world as a really the gold standard approach. But uh, the challenge going forward was really summed up by a cartoon in one of the local media today saying, well, the first term had a birth, a terror attack, a volcanic eruption and a pandemic. What the public wants from a second term is a house, a job, a recovery and no surprises. We were speaking to the Auckland Chamber of Commerce CEO uh, Michael Barnett a little earlier. He said business would like to see more stimulus, more infrastructure spending and ideally a COVID-19 test at the border. Now that would be particularly crucial because it would help the hard hit industries in New Zealand of tourism and education, which really do bring in a lot of revenue. Now addressing a revenue gap uh, caused by the coronavirus pandemic is going to be another challenge. As I mentioned, in terms of policy, the only real tax reform that the Labour Party took to this election was an increase uh, to the top tax rate of above 120,000 US dollars, but that was about it. So this is the term where the rub is really going to meet the road in terms of the approach to the economic recovery. It's going to be helped along though by the sheer size of this majority. Jacinda Ardern's Labour Party holding 64 seats in the 120 seat parliament. Now that is interesting because it's the first time since the introduction of proportional representation in 1996 that any party has won enough seats to govern on its own. Now this is by turns uh, rather luxurious and also slightly terrifying for the new Labour government uh, because there are no checks and balances on power. There is no upper house. Jacinda Ardern can pretty much rule as she sees fit. So she did rule out heading into this election any capital gains tax, but as revenue collapses, it must be very tempting to give that policy another look. She's also contemplating going into coalition with the Greens party, even though she doesn't actually need them to govern. Now, the Greens party did take forward a more comprehensive package of tax reforms to this uh, election. So were she to govern in concert with the Greens, they could do much of the heavy lifting on tax reform, which may also prove to be a little unpopular with some portions of the electorate. So it's going to be very interesting to watch this new term. There's going to be a lot of new and untested MPs in the caucus. So a second uh, Jacinda Ardern term is uh, going to be full of all sorts of different challenges to the ones that characterise the first.